JMFW Worldwide. I'm going to talk about the Whopper Plopper. I know you've seen videos. I know all of you have had great success with certain Whopper Ploppers, but I want to give you my opinion and my rundown on which Whopper Plopper I use at specific times. The first and foremost, my favorite Whopper Plopper, of course, is the 130. All right. It's not the biggest one, but it's second for biggest. But this is my favorite bait. This one I like to use when the water's super choppy, all right? Real good wind. I don't want to use it on a slick day. It's too much. It's too much action. It's too much for fish, all right? But it's still one of my favorites, especially in the fall time, especially when the big grizzly shad start running the bank, okay? So 130, that's one. Let's go to the next size. Now, the ultimate one is the 110 ultimate all-around bait you can use this on a little calmer water not slick water but a little calmer uh, you can use it in the sun and overcast days it's just a little more subtle than the 130 all right so a little calmer water 110 now when the water is slick and calm I like to use the 90 this makes a very subtle sound a little it's not as plopping. It's more of a flutter sound, but that's what the 90s good at It's good at making that commotion on a really really calm day where maybe there's a shad spawn going on or something like that And it's calm and slick. All right, let's just say you want a little more uh, Thump to it and the same kind of size. I use I call this. This is a 75. I call this a fat boy like me Now this one right here. I love to throw this in farm ponds all right, it's very effective in farm ponds at 75. It's not as much of a fluttering sound as a 90. It's more of a plop of the 110, all right? But it's more compact than the 110. So a little bit of chop on the water, maybe a little bit calmer here. Really slick water here. And the 110 and 130 on rougher, windier conditions. That's my deal. And I always like to tell you too, the best rod, reel, and line to use, I use a cash and plopping rod. It's a 7.8. I get extreme distance out of a 7.8 versus a 7.6, all right? I used to use a 7.6, got with cash and made the 7.8. I use a Johnny Morris Platinum, 8 to 5 gear ratio, uh, signature Johnny Morris Signature Series, 8 to 5 gear ratio. And I use 50 in open water. Or 65 when I'm around a lot of boat docks and, and cables and trees and stuff like that or, or or gnarly rocks or zebra mussels on the bank stuff like that I'll use 65 maximum braid 50 in open water long super cast that's what I made that rod for so hopefully this will help you dial you in a little bit more on when to use it and how to use it and trust me I know what I'm talking about I've spent a lot of time because I'm like obsessed with plopping